Donald Trump is now the nominee for uh, president, obviously, for the Republican Party. And and a lot of you are like, who's gonna be left to staff Donald's campaign? What friends does he have? Who has he not burned through? Who does he not owe money to? Turns out to be one man, he's an OG, not John Bolton, but you can see him next to me. One of those photos, he's actually in handcuffs. Paul Manafort, that's right, Donald Trump is expected to reenlist Paul Manafort, his former campaign manager, he pardoned as his campaign advisor later this year. Manafort again worked for Donald Trump in 2016 before he was ousted and later convicted of tax and bank fraud felonies as a part of Robert Mueller's investigation into the Russian interference in the 2016 election. Paul Manafort was sort of the guy that kicked all of this off. Um, he along with a couple others were learned to be Michael Flynn were like, you know, oh, they they're like active Russian agents. They've lobbied on behalf of the Russian government. Now they're at the right hand of the current president. This could be problematic. Um, and it turned out after this investigation by Mueller, Manafort was one of the casualties. He served 47 months in prison. He got gout. That's just something I remember from him. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. But what's the job? He's back. He was pardoned, dusting off his shoulders. Um, the job discussions have largely centered on the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee in July and could include Manafort playing a role in fundraising for the presumptive GOP nominees campaign. Lord knows he needs it. According to these people who spoke on the condition of anonymity to describe private deliberations. While no formal decision has been made, the four people described the hiring as expected and said Trump was determined to bring Manafort back into the fold. I, can't. I just can't, I can't. Anyway, Trump apparently has told advisors that he feels loyal to Manafort because he served prison time and that Manafort has continued to stay loyal and praise Trump in public and private appearances. The former president still often complains about the Mueller investigation people close to the Trump say and contends the prosecution of Manafort was unfair. Why was he charged with what Trump deems unfair? What was he charged with? During the 2016 campaign, Manafort allegedly shared Trump campaign polling data with Konstantin Kalimnik, a Russian who was U the US government said had ties to the Russian intelligence. The special counsel accused Manafort of lying to the FBI about his in in interactions with Kalimnik, even after Manafort had said he would cooperate and provide truthful information. So that was part of it. Not only did he help Kalimnik gather information about US voters specifically in swing districts and counties um this in in um in swing states this was really really pivotal campaign information that was shared with this uh, russian oligarch but then he lied about it to the fbi and that was part of what why he ultimately was convicted in 2018 trump said and this was when he was kind of distancing himself he said you know paul manafort worked for me for a very short period of time he worked for ronald reagan he worked for Bob Dole, he worked for John McCain or his firm did. He worked for many other Republicans. He worked for me for what, 49 days or something? A very short period of time. Um, and then when he was pardoned, when Manafort was pardoned ultimately by Trump, he said this, as a result of blatant prosecutorial overreach, Mr. Manafort has endured years of unfair treatment and is one of the most prominent victims of what has been revealed to be perhaps the greatest witch hunt in American history which was definitely founded on collaboration and collusion between Donald Trump, the Republican Party, and a foreign entity and arguably an adversary, uh, the country of Russia. But hey, who's counting? Yaz, one thing that I remember that Manafort was successfully able to do in 2016 at the RNC or 2015, right? Was to change the RNC platform with respect to one thing. And if you remember what that was, it was about Ukraine, which said that if Russia were to invade Ukraine, that the United States would not automatically arm and support Ukraine in that war. That basically it would like stand aside, that that was the one language. So my dude Manafort, he's been a foreign agent. He has worked on behalf of despots and dictators like Vladimir Putin. And he got his way with the Trump campaign. And now he's back. Because everybody need money, Russia got money. 
Yeah, uh, Manafort is a guy that I really didn't think we'd be hearing about, at least not this soon, at least not in relation to Trump. You know, for Trump, for a guy who's trying to show the world that he's not beholden to Russia or to Putin, he sure loves to associate himself with people who are or have been shown to be beholden to Russia and to Putin. So it is interesting. Um, but of course, we know that his base has never really had a problem with him being associated with people like Manafort. They celebrate people like Manafort. And as we know now, as you mentioned, uh, the right, especially the MAGA right, is you know kind of supportive of Putin in his invasion of Ukraine. So um, it, it's interesting to see where this is gonna go, um, if any consequences are gonna come, any further consequences to uh, Manafort. Because whenever he is involved with a person like Trump, you know, there's a paper trail that inevitably will come out. So they can try to do their things, but you're, you're just kind of putting yourself in position to be further scrutinized, even more so than he already has been. And also, I will say, I remember that gout headline, and I'm sure yeah. this is 100% just me, but whenever I hear about gout, it feels like something from like the Canterbury Tales or something like that. Like, like it, yes. it sounds like a medieval affliction. I know that it's very current. I know that a lot of people have, have it, but I can't help it. That's what I think of. I Same. I've gotten, I got a lot of crap for saying that gout was basically, I thought it was when you ate like way too many like chicken livers in a row and you were like, like you're a rich king and you just ate like duck liver and you know, yeah. pate and oh no, the gout. But no, it's a lot of other people have. It's from, it from like living a, in excess, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was like, yeah, it was like because of just eating a lot of fatty stuff and then having your portrait drawn and like not moving for a long time. Anyway, I'm sure Michael Flynn will be back. Mark my Ooh. words. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.